I'm out for something completely different. <clears throat> this is a repair I've just done on this, uh, uh, it's about a 1975, I think, uh, Sony ICF 5500M, more often known as a Captain 55 a radio. It's uh, FM, medium wave, uh, marine and uh, short wave. Handy little piece of kit. Uh, I bought it off eBay as a non-runner because I wanted to uh, test my skills on electronics. And uh, when I got it, it wasn't working. Uh, there was, wasn't even a crackle out of the speaker. Absolutely nothing. Uh, but when I connected power to it, I noticed that the uh, tuning meter was active. And as I tuned it, I could see it moving. So I knew it wasn't completely dead. So I managed to trace the signal through. I found a signal, an audio signal with this little uh, oscilloscope. I have got others, but it was this one I found it with. And I was able to stick on it uh, the jack from this uh, little audio amp that I built from a kit. And it was obvious it was working. We got radio very quietly but the radio part was working. What wasn't working was the amplifier part of the circuit. It's got two transformers in it, two big um, power transistors in the, in the circuit, but it had also got this little fella here, which is a six-legged amplifier chip. It says, oh, I managed to find the schematic for it online as well. Uh, it says it's uh, CX025E AF amp and uh, by me proddings with me little oscilloscope I've traced as I say the audio signal as far as this little amp now a search online was futile for a chip that age and non-existent but I stumbled across a couple of pages from Japan which Google translated and what they'd done there from uh, the schematic of the chip which apparently has got three uh, NPN transistors in it and uh, two uh, 10k resistors They'd got a schematic, which I copied onto a little board. So I put the three transistors on, connected it all up, and wired it into where the little amp chip was. And lo and behold, when I switched it on, it nearly knocked me off my chair because it went. So it is working now. No problem. Everything's working. Loudness. So I've got to now find a way of making this super chip that I've made a little bit smaller and get it in the case and I can put it back together. The radio itself wasn't in the best of condition. The battery cover was missing, there was knobs missing off the tone and the bass. But if I can get it back in the case, it still looks uh, a very solid radio. So uh, I just thought I'd share that. Chuffed to little meatballs, I've actually repaired something. Using me brain. What little bit I've got left, and that's it. 
that little supersonic bit of circuitry there. And I never thought of doing that. It's, uh, it's quite new to me to actually build a representation of the chip. Oh. It's a total kid, mess at the minute, and, but uh, now it works. So I'll build a, a tidier one. You can see the three transistors and two resistors. That's all there is to it. And what wired in to where that chip was. It was only a six. Well, the pins are numbered one to eight, but there's only six legs. Four and five are missing compared with a, a more modern chip. So there's only six legs. It's a through the hole, but there's no equivalent I can find anywhere and you can't buy one. So when I saw this about making one, in fact, somebody has made one using uh, very tiny components, which is, works out smaller than that. So. I'll put this back in its. You can see, you can hear that it's. As I say, touching it before, like you do to see if you can get a reaction. It was absolutely dead on the audio, on the amplifier side. It was really weird. Uh, it wasn't a five minute job. But I'm pleased I got through it and traced it all and got it working. Anyway, I thought I'd share that. It might be of help to somebody else that wants to restore a bit of vintage uh, electronics, and it is vintage. Um, there we go. Woohee! Thanks for watching. Bye!